And let me show you a bit of earthwork design. So let's say we want to go and design a platform within that area. Give it a name. And beforehand, I've looked at my elevations. I'm going to put this in at 77. It doesn't necessarily have to be closed. It can be an open figure. Alternatively, you go to your properties and you can close it. Right, so that is all one elevation. Now I want to put in my embankment. Go and specify which grade I'd like the embankments and what survey surface I'm working with. You have numerous operation types to choose from. If I were to click on this string or parent string and move it, you see that the child or the embankments dynamically update. If I want to give this grade, say negative two you can see my contours and my slope arrows dynamically update doing the other side If I want to see the volumes, specify my topsoil to strip and compaction factor. And there's my volumes. If you want to optimize your cut and fill, here you can go and specify your cut and fill optimization percentage. It then takes the level of my platform, moves it higher or lower until it's within that 5%. So there you can see the new volumes updated. Switching off my contours and slope arrows. If I want to now go and put in a additional platform, I have an option to use an existing surface. Alternatively, I can ask the designer to use the existing strings model for interpolation. I could then go and put in a constant to the existing string. So in that case, it would lift it 10 meters higher than the existing string. And I'm going to generate the child. that in at a very steep slope. And once again, use the existing strings model. So let's go and view that in 3D. Right click, select render view. So you can actually check underground so you can see what your cut and fill line looks like. And then that is the additional string that we've created.
if you'd like to see a profile through the string design specify your start point your end point and there it is so as you're moving your cursor on the profile you can see where it's positioned on your plan view so it includes the ground level as well as your string or platform design you can go and specify what you'd like displayed in this profile and you can go and print it